Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to another video. I have come to this beautiful creek right here behind me. And as you can see, well, you can't really see right now, but the water has dropped a lot. So that can either mean really good fishing or no fishing at all. But I got my fly rod with me and my spinning rod, so we are all prepared to hopefully catch some fish. We got cutthroat trout, tiger trout, and some rainbows. We got a lot of species we're chasing today. But before we get fishing, guys, I gotta give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM makes high quality shirts and hoodies with some of the coolest designs you've ever seen. I got this hoodie on right now with a ship in a bottle. And I've also got this shirt. This is one of my favorites kind of an outdoor campfire theme going on. But not only do these shirts have super, super cool designs, but I'm really particular with the shirts I wear, and I can honestly say these are some of the most comfortable shirts and hoodies I've ever worn. They're extremely soft, and they got a little bit of stretch to them. But if you don't like designs on your shirts, they do have a lineup of basic tees if you're a little bit more simple. And right now on their website, they're actually running a deal. Three graphic tees for $60, or three basic tees for $49.95. And on top of that, you can get an additional 10% off using my promo code BNT10. Link to their website will be in the description. Go check them out. Get yourself some sexy shirts. I mean, look at that. Check them out. All right, so like I said, starting off with the fly rod. There's just something about catching them on the fly, man. I, I don't know, I can't help it. All right, and we're off. Can I see anything over the bridge here? Mm. Oh, there's a little fish. There's a couple fish. Oh, there's a few. There's a few trout. Not big ones, I mean, they're decent, but heck yeah, dude, fish sighted. What about on this side? It's a little bit deeper. Oh yeah, there's some fish, holy cow. That's a lot of fish. All right, I think we're in business, boys. The trick is gonna be not scaring them. So I'm gonna come all the way around here and cast up towards them. All right, now to choose a fly. Hmm, let's try that guy. Well, let's try this guy. I believe this is a red cardinal or something like that. It's got some red, some green, a little bit of black. We should get one here. I mean, cause I saw a lot of fish when I looked over the bridge. I mean, I'd be, there we go. Yep, first cast. I was just gonna say, I'd be surprised if I didn't get a fish immediately. It's not very big, but we gotta start somewhere. I mean, I know there are some, oh, and there he goes, he just popped off. Well, that's okay. I know there are some pretty good sized fish. Like I've caught some pretty nice sized fish out of here, but there's also a lot of little guys like that. There we go. About the same size as that first one. What do we got? Yep, little brown, little brownie. If I had to guess, there's probably hundreds of these guys, just all the same size. There we go, I'll just toss them back. Oh, there you go. crazy how many weeds are just completely carpeting this entire creek. Like there's literally no way to fish any of this right here. But we got a little waterfall up here. That's got to have some fish in it. Oh, there was one. There we go. There we go. Another brown, <laughs> check it out. Hey, they ain't big fish, but they're fun fish. Oh, and he just popped off. Nice brown, I'll let him go. I'm casting as close up to that wall as I can, right into that white water. Another one. <laughs> All right. There you go, buddy. Hey, get out of the net. There you go. <laughs> Dude, they're everywhere. <laughs> Another one the same size. They had to have just stocked a bunch of these, or I don't know, this is the nursery. But I have a feeling I could sit here all day and catch like a hundred of these. 
I have a hard time believing that that's all that's down there. There's going to be a few bigger tigers or some browns or something like that. I just got to sit here and weed through all the small ones. There we go. That one's a little bit bigger. Not really though. <laughs> Yep. Come on, there's got to be some kind of big fish down there. Give me anything else. Anything else, come on. Uh, another one of these. Three or four of these guys and you'd actually have a pretty good meal. All right, I'm not gonna show any more little browns if I get any more. I'll get back to you guys if I get a big brown or a big tiger. Hey, that's probably the biggest one so far. Yeah, still not a big fish at all, but that's the biggest one. I'll take it, nice. He'd probably taste delicious, but I don't know. I might keep some fish today. We're just gonna have to see, but let him go. Look at all this blue stuff. I imagine it's just some kind of algae or something, but that is, I've never seen that before. It's like bright blue. Leave a comment if you know what the heck that is. All right, so we're moving on from that spot. There are just way too many browns and I'm not complaining about catching fish, but just one after the other after the other. I feel like I don't have any chance of catching something else. So I'm just gonna keep walking up. Oh my gosh. Did you guys just see that? A freaking muskrat just swam right by my foot. That was kind of terrifying. Oh, there's a fish right there. There's a cutthroat trout right there. Dude, there's a fish right there. A nice cutthroat. Oh, got him, got him. I watched him eat it. I watched him eat it. That's a good fish. That's a, oh no, 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 there he goes. No. Gosh dang it, man. I should have let him eat it longer. That was cool though. I, I, I could see him. I sight fished that dude. Wow, there are a whole bunch of chubs or shiners or something just scattering everywhere like little two, three inch fish. There we go. There we go, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish, holy cow. I don't think I showed you guys what I was using either. I switched. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Heck yeah. Okay, get in here. Get in here. Oh, oh come on. All right, he's still going, he's still going. It's a good cutthroat, it's a really nice cut. Really nice cut. Nice. All right, here we go. Got him, look at that. That's a giant. That is a giant cut. Finally, you guys. I've been fishing for two and a half hours. I caught a bunch of little baby browns. Oh my gosh. Right there on that green woolly bugger. That's gotta be a two, two pound cut. There we go. Nice fish right there. First good fish of the day. A nice fat, healthy cutthroat on the woolly bugger. Oh, that's so cool. See ya. There she goes. Oh, he's just chilling there. All right, well, it feels good to be on the board. I mean, I wasn't complaining about catching those little browns, but I'd much rather catch one fish that size than like 20 of those little guys. Let's see if there's another one down there. Oh, another one, another one. Dude, next cast, next freaking cast. Let's go, let's freaking go. Oh my gosh, he just spit up a giant minnow. Oh my, you guys can't see that. He just spit out like a three inch minnow. I think I figured it out, woolly buggers, baby. 
I fish nymphs right here for like 30 minutes without a freaking bite. Look at that, another good one. These aren't small fish, dude. Oh, he spit up another one, look at that, look at that. Oh. And got him. Yes, another one. Oh, guys, it feels so good to finally have figured something out. My hand is wet, by the way. On that woolly bugger again, he had it in his mouth big time. He's hungry, clearly, because he just spit up like two giant minnows. All right, there we go. Number two, man. We're figuring it out. Heck yeah. All right, I'm gonna get him back quick because I want to keep catching him. <sighs> See you, buddy. There he goes. So that fish literally spit up like two huge minnows and then what looked to be like some crawdad pieces or something like that. And there's one of them just sitting right there. Let's see if I can grab it. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that. I got him. I got one of the minnows he spit up. <laughs> Check that out. Whoa. That is not a small fish, folks. That looks like a little, that looks like a trout. Or no, I can't even tell. It. It's either a chub or a trout of some kind, but that's gotta be a five inch fish. That is absolutely insane. And he spit up two of them. Bro, buddy is hungry. All right, well, I'm not wasting any time. I'm getting right back in there. Right out here in front of me, it's like a deep, really deep hole. Like I can see the bottom right there and then it just slopes down. So I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom and then just give it a little twitch like that and then watch my line. Another one, another one. Yep, right there in that hole. They're stacked, they're stacked. Another giant, another pig. Look at that, look at that. Swim right in my net. Hey, hey, hey. Oh gosh. Dude, the fight these fish are putting up. There's plenty of food for them. There's like thousands and thousands of little chubs and they're just gorging, getting strong, just sitting there, getting fat all day long. There we go. Dude. <laughs> Number three, back to back, dude. There we go. Another giant. And seriously, like every single fish has been over a pound, closer to two pounds. Like those are some fat, healthy fish. There he goes. Oh, 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 one was chasing it. One was chasing it, I was bringing it in and one just was just coming in hot right after it. And then he saw me and took off. Come on, come on. There we go, he picked it up. Oh, oh, that's not a cutthroat. It's a brown, one of those little browns. It's a little bit bigger than the ones we were catching earlier. Look at that. It's a pretty one. Check that out. Nice, nice, on the woolly bugger. Heck yeah. See you, bud. I really wish I could just walk further up because, I mean, this is a dam right here and there's a fence right there. Can't go beyond that fence, which sucks because I guarantee if I could, I'd just freaking slay them but I just gotta try to cast as far up into the creek as I can. Because I can see fish like surfacing and hitting stuff on top, like right there. One just hit the surface, but I just can't go over there and I'm not about to get a ticket in the mail. Many hours later. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I know it wasn't a banger or anything, but we did catch a few decent fish. It's weird, because I fished for five hours and I caught those three big cutthroats within a five minute span, so. What does that tell you, man? I, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Caught a bunch of little browns too. So, I mean, it wasn't a horrible day. It wasn't a great day, but it wasn't a horrible day. But I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Lots more videos to come. And I'll see you guys in the next one.